Hey y'all, it's me, Siren and the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Subscribe. So I want to get a message from the ancestors. Let's see what they're trying to tell us. Plants. Could be trying to get some plants. Could be trying to plant some seeds. Cycles, moon here. We got moon. So, um, could be getting ready for those new moons, new moon um, uh, manifestations to come to life here with the master DNA, master ancestor DNA adaption adaptation they're trying to ask you to adapt here know that you know the seeds that you plant now are taking they need time to grow what's happening now is not what's gonna always be present you know we're gonna always constantly be going through different cycles and phases that are going to allow us to grow Here we got animal and instinct here. So trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Some things just come naturally. You could be asking yourself, well, how am I going to get to this and that? Well, if it's already in your DNA, this is something that your ancestors have already gone through. Whether you believe it or not, they're going to be there to guide you through it. y'all let's see okay that's enough so we got warrior or we got inventor and um it says inju inju in in gen uidity inventor then we got um warrior and boundaries here so i feel like you could be wondering when things are going to change. When is this going to happen? Right now, your ancestors, I feel, are asking you just to, you know, pray and remain hopeful because there's things that lie within your DNA that you don't even know are there. You may be wondering how you're going to get through this, but you've already, in many different lifetimes, and your ancestors that come before you have already gone through these things and these obstacles that you're doing right now. It's just now time for you to tap into your creative energy and choose to take a risk and invent what you need to invent. With the use the um, trust the idea that you're being given right now. There's an idea that someone's ancestors have planted in their in their mind. And they're asking you to go forward with it. Do it. That's what we want you to do. That's what they're saying. We want you to do this. We want you to just go for it. And then with the warrior here and boundaries, you're going to have to set some clear boundaries here. Because there are going to be people who feel entitled to the profit that you get and receive from this business they're going to feel entitled because you know they've known you for a long time it may not have even been that they've taken care of you or did things for you it's just they've known you for a long time so they feel like what you as you grow they should be able to grow with you and you gotta be you gotta be aware of that and set clear and strong boundaries you're gonna have to turn into a warrior and, and make people back up from you back up okay because what this is this is something for you and your legacy and your the the people who come after you and that means setting boundaries even if that means setting boundaries with your you know your aunties your uncles your cousins your brothers and sisters and them you you're gonna have to still set boundaries because at the end of the day this is for what comes after you okay and they have their own this is not to say be stingy or anything like that but this is more so that the ancestors have something for each and every one of you so um rhythm maker and temple it's time to switch up the temple here it's time to um 
tell yourself a different story here. Your story is not over. It's unless you choose for it to be over. It's up to you. So imagination, use your imagination. Use your imagination. What else? Performer. You might have to put on a show here. Whatever it is that you're being asked to invent requires you to put on a different type of show. No. You may have to, um, you may, someone actually may be an actor here. This may require being an actor, putting on a show. Let's see, what's this plant? Energy plants. Plant seeding. Yes, move forward. Take a risk. Move forward and take a risk is what I feel from these two cards here with this plant energy. They want you to just, you know, go for it. Go down this unknown path. Go see what's down there. What's down here? Go down the unknown path is what I feel like you're being asked to do by your ancestors. They're asking you to, you know, choose a passionate new beginning. Evaluate your options and choose something new here for yourself. What's the moon? Moon. Moon. Don't let fear stop you from going for. Um, don't let fear stop you and keep you in a, in a space of darkness unnecessarily as well. Know that everything has its own cycles. Just because you're sad right now does not mean that you'll always be sad. See, you must move from this grief, this space of grief, right? Someone is grieving here. It's time to transform. Someone could be stuck here. And they're asking you to balance your energy and move forward. Push past this, whatever this is that's stopping you. And you will be victorious. And like I said, somebody's stuck. Sleepless nights. But you will be victorious. If you decide to keep moving forward, if you decide to go down this unknown path and do what you're being asked to do, follow your heart here. Follow your heart. Master ancestor DNA. Master ancestor DNA. Your ancestors are about to bring in justice for you here. They're going to help you balance out your energy. Put some respect back into your name, into your legacy here. They're asking you to balance it, balance out your energy. Master Ancestor DNA. You need to know, yeah, you need to know that your ancestors are the truth as well. Your ancestors are the truth. And they want you to do something here. They, they could want you to walk away from whatever this, these um, third party situations are. Or where if you're being put in a third party situation, they're asking you to move away from whatever this toxic energy is because it's slowing you down. And they can't bless you as long as you're still in this situation, knowing that you're in a third party situation or that, um, you know, whatever situ whatever the situation is, it's not what they want for you. This could be someone who you have a family with or, you know, there's some choices here that you, you may have to choose to end out some things within this family unit, unit in order to balance out your own energy. Yeah, they, they're telling you that your wish fulfillment, you you getting to your wish fulfillment requires you to go to go alone for a minute. 
to just be alone for a moment balance out your own energy love on yourself for a second just so you can see your own worth because right now your ancestors i feel are saying that you forgot who the hell you are who the hell we are is what i'm saying this is what i feel yeah they want you to get on get away from this energy of codependency and feeling like you got to take care of everybody because that's not what you are here for you're here to lead people you're here to lead them there's a different way that you will be able to help these people but you can't help them if it comes at the risk of your own suffering or your own um drainage if you're draining if you have if at any moment you are draining your energy to help someone else you have lost you're not helping you're not helping yourself and it should always be a balance here i feel like god will always give you god will give you what you need and it will be balanced. It won't feel like a drainage. There will be a fair energy exchange. Your ancestors are asking you to step out of this role of trying to feel in the need to save everybody. Because that's not your job. They have something here for you, but they cannot give it to you because they're scared that you're going to go to and give it away to everybody else thinking that it's a good idea because you're supposed to be helping everybody else and it's like no you need to get your energy right this ain't about everybody else this is about you and that's not to be selfish but i mean how can you help anyone else if you're lacking you can't that it doesn't make sense you can't pour from an empty cup is what they're telling me Master Ancestor DNA, please. Yeah. This could be, um, I want to see who's this Queen of Pentacles. Who's the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, so this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who you need to, your ancestors are saying, is the person who is blocking up a lot of the, the flow here. This Queen of Pentacles, this person who's mainly focused on money, who's always focused on money, always talking about money, always ain't got enough money or, or you know, this person is just only focused on a pinnacle. You collaborating with this person is what they're waiting for you to drop. They're waiting for you to get in this energy here and, and start to move forward because or get out of this energy. Because at the end of the day, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities. This is the ancestor cup where they're trying to give you something good. But you sitting here looking at these three three cups trying to possibly take care of this, this person here, this queen of pentacles. And at the whole time, this person is in competition with you, keeping you in an ongoing cycle. Keeping you in a cycle of repeating the same energy because they know that this right here is destined for you. This Ten of Pentacles. You have a destiny and you are the one who's going to change. You're going to be the first millionaire in your ancestor, in your, in your uh, bloodline. You are the first millionaire within your bloodline. This Queen of Pentacles knows that if they continue to work so closely with you, that you will continue to miss opportunities. They can keep you in this five of swords, always playing like mind games with you. See how these people back here, that's you. That's a part, you the person in the red. That's the queen of queen of pentacles, holding on to all this, all this information, holding on to all these mind games and tricks and stuff while you back there missing opportunities, looking like this one here, missing opportunities. Okay. People wanting to work with you, but they can't work with you because 
this person, you're still investing so much time here with this Queen of Pentacles. Investing so much time in trying to take care of this person and you can't take care of yourself. Because whether you want to believe it or not, this person's ultimate goal is to continuously keep you in this conflict here. Once you put down them four swords, those four of wands, you can get to this ace of wands here. And you can start something new. But it's up to you to, and that's what your ancestors are saying. It's up to you to master the the codes and, and move out of this, this energy here, this karmic energy, because you're, it's blocking the flow. You are the one who's supposed to come and change the flow of the bloodline. You're, if everybody in your bloodline has sat around and been drunk and drunks and drank, you're the one that's supposed to come and stop it. You're the one that's supposed to come and say, you know what? I have the strength to not do this. If everybody along your bloodline has used people for money, it stays in relationships and marriages just based off of money. You're the one who's going to change that. You are the generational curse breaker, okay? If everybody in your family has kids by 16, you're the one who's going to change that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to do that. You're the one who's going to change everything around. If everybody in your family is toxic, all they do is fight and argue and fuss and do extra stuff that is toxic as hell. You're the one that's meant to not do that. But right now, who I'm talking to feels like I'm feeling like chameleon energy. You're blending in and you're meant to stand out. You're, it's like almost like you're allowing these family members to, get, to guilt trip you into being like them. And they've been sneaky. They've been sneaky behind the scenes, partnered up and paired up with different people within your life to create negative energy. It's time for you to release this. You already know this too. You know that it's time for you to release this, whatever this is. Your intuition is already a lot. I have already shown you who is fake and who's not real. They've shown you already. And so now they're sitting here still like, um, hello. So what, hello, you just gonna keep, you just gonna sit, keep here, sit here and keep playing. You see what I'm saying? They got, you got the one. You can make it happen. You can make anything happen. You have the magic here. They're protecting you. Your ancestors want you to know that you are protected and they are the ones who are protecting you. Okay, queen, yes, there's a queen of wands here. This queen of wands could be in cahoot with that um, queen of pentacles that have been plotting to keep you in this sneaky energy or keep you in, um, they've been sneaking behind the scenes to keep you away from your fortune. This is who, they, that's who you need to cut off. That queen of wands and that queen of pentacles. Because you are king of, king of pentacles. Look, come on now. You know what's going on. Death. Balance out your energy. End it. Balance out your energy. That's what your ancestors need for you to do in order to get to that ten of pentacles, that will of fortune for you. Okay. They also have a. They have a. They have a love here for you. They have a love that's going to make you extremely happy, but they're not going to allow you, you, your ancestors, and this person's ancestors, because they're already together talking to one another, will not allow you all to come together until you have released the energy of these family members who have been secretly doing things to harm you behind your back. So let's see, what's the instinct in animal? Walk away. Trust your instincts and walk away. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Balance out your energy, let it go. Tower, what's the tower? What's going on? Walk eight cups in the tower. Because it ain't no love here. This is emotional manipulation. This is emotional manipulation. Look, King of... Let it go. Let it go. 
That is not your job. It's not your job to take care of everybody. Somebody has been like manipulated into believing that that's what they have to do. So I feel like, um, and this was ultimately a master manipulation because they know that you are the first millionaire, billionaire of the family. These people around you, they're highly intuitive. They know exactly what it is your job is to do in this lifetime. They know who you are. They know also that they're here and a part of the destiny to stop you from getting there. That's their mission. Your mission is to change the will of the fortune. Their mission is to reverse it and stop it and keep it going on because if they keep going on, you know, honestly and truly, as, this is all spiritual here. Nothing is actually just, oh, coincidental or, oh, it's just the flesh. No, this is all spiritual here. So in order for you to transmute the energy that you're in now and move on to the next phase of your life cycle, you must complete this phase that you've been continuously going on. And if you don't, you will reincarnate and do it again until you figure it out. There will always be karmics here who will be here to stop you from getting to the phase that getting to the next level. Okay. For me personally, the karmic individuals who who were placed in my life to stop me were um there were some family. There were some family, but not a lot cuz I'm not really close with my family anyway. But there was mainly friends. I had a best friend that I'd known for a long time, ended up being karmic. I had a, um, I had actually a few best friends that I'd known for a long time, ended up being karmic. Because when my gifts began to open up and awaken, I was able to hear people having conversations when they were speaking about me. So I'm hearing the things that they're saying behind me and behind my back and how they're dragging my name. So it hurt me to have to let these people go because I'm talking about 12, 10, 12 years plus friendships, but I needed to know what was going on so that I can get to the space where I can fully step into my own power. And to this day, I don't regret it because at the end of the day, I don't want nobody around me in this, in this seven of swords energy. I don't want to be around people, family or not, that I can't genuinely trust. Because then, you know, my work's going to always suffer. The things that I'm working on going to always have a, 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 slight, a slight dingy stinge to it. Because there's always someone who's playing in my face close to me who's secretly sending negative energy into my, into my projects. So I had to end out my own cycles. And motherfuckers was mad as a motherfucker. But I had to do it here because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not healthy. Okay, it's not healthy, and I know that I want to be in alignment. You know what I'm saying? I want to be ready. Back when I was um, focused more so on like the Christian faith and all that stuff, I was like, "Well, shoot, I don't want to go to hell." And so, <laughs> what am I gonna do not to go to hell? <laughs> okay, that means I gotta drop off some people. Then I gotta drop off some people. You know what I'm saying? But now I, you know being who I am now and believing in my ancestors, I feel as though with my ancestors, there is a reason why they showed me that. And it wasn't just for me to be like, oh yeah, so I'm just going to keep an eye on this person and keep them close. Or I'm just going to keep an eye on this person and keep telling them all my damn business. No, it was for me to cut them off so I can move forward. Okay. Cause you know, people change. Sometimes people, you know, they don't feel, they don't want you to do good or they feel inferior to you for whatever reason, because you start doing good in their eyes and your eyes, you can still be struggling. But in the next motherfucker eyes who don't understand how you can still be so happy after you've been through all the things that you've been through, 
it makes them feel inferior to you because you're still strong. And they're like, well, I'm drowning in emotion. You're not supposed to be strong. You've been through hell and high water. No. And so secretly, they have this dark cloud that they constantly are conjuring over your life. Taking and sucking all your power away. That's just the truth of it. When you look at it, look at it as energy, that's what it is. I never felt better. I never felt better. After I, after I cut them people off, my life completely just changed. The energy around me started to shift. I actually started to get down to what it was that I needed to do. What made me happy. I figured out who I was. What I needed. Okay? And then I could figure out how I could help other people. Be the best way for me to help other people without feeling drained. Because at one point, I was definitely in this... Um, people pleasing energy where I wanted to do everything just to make people smile and just to see me or just to be happier. You know what I mean? I just wanted, I wanted it for a reason of the credit. But now it's more so like, you know what? It doesn't matter whether you give me my flowers or not. I'm going to help you in this way because this is the best way that I can show up for you without risking myself. Okay. Sometimes God won't let you get into a space of your calling until you do what you need to do to release the energy that does not serve you. So let's see, what's what's inventor here? Inventor. I feel like somebody has a major invention here that's going to allow them to transform. Inventor, excuse me. Okay, so right here. You can take your pain and make it into something here that's going to be very prosperous. The things that you've been through are going to help somebody. You're going to create something here that's going to truly help somebody to um, create to shit, create their own something. You know what I mean? You're going to inspire people here. This is an in inspiring, inspiring spread. Like I said, you've been through a lot. You could have been through a lot in relationships and partnerships where you've been dragged and drained. And so now they're like, okay, you could, we want to create something for you, but with you in this energy, we're going to keep blocking. We're going to keep protect. We're going to protect you and this person by pushing by, by pushing until you get into this space where you can see clearly, okay? You can have some confused energy right now, but you, like, until you get into a space where you want to cut out what doesn't serve you and balance out your energy, we're going to continue to, you know, protect you from or keep this, keep, we're just going to, I feel like they're holding back something from you here. Because you could be you could be drowning in these in these relationships or in these commitments to you people that are just draining your energy. They're just draining your energy. You're in a nine of swords, five of cups, three of swords. Also, I see that this is blocking your creative energy because of all this grief and pain. But they're saying that this is because this is where you're you're putting yourself here. You're allowing yourself to stay in this space. Because you won't just follow your heart and go towards what you know is going to make you happy. You won't follow your heart. So you're going to continuously be blocking up your, your, your success. You're going to continuously be going through tower moments as long as you keep sitting here acting heartless. Because this isn't, this is, look, acting heartless. Somebody is acting heartless. It's not as though they're not heartless. They're just acting that way. They're acting like there's nothing in that cup. But in reality, the cup is very full. The cup is very full, but somebody, somebody, yeah. It's, it's somebody, somebody not being authentic. They're not being real with themselves. Let's see, what's warrior? Warrior. Mm -hmm. 
somebody doesn't, somebody is really truly closed off. They've closed their whole mind, closed their heart, closed everything. They're closed off. Somebody doesn't want to be. Okay, so this Queen of Swords. This is, I feel like, it's almost like this person is closed-minded. This Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy is closed-minded. Or something here. Let me see. What is the Two of Swords? This has to do with somebody's grandmother or mother here. Somebody could have been, oh shit. Okay, so somebody was doing death spells. This is spell work and this is death. So this mother or this grandmother, someone here could be an Aries, could be, a, not an Aries, could be a Libra, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, or a, um, who is that? Who is that? Last one. Um, yeah, that's right. Libra. S somebody was doing death spells? Is that what y'all trying to tell me? So that's what they was doing secretly. Somebody was secretly doing death spells on someone here. Trying to weigh them down. This earth angel, this empress. Someone was, somebody's mother was doing death spells on their divine counterpart. What? Yeah. Dark magic. They was doing death spells on this divine counterpart. This is a karmic. This mother, somebody's mother is a karmic to them. That's who they have to stand up to. That's who they have to become a warrior to and set boundaries with. Not a warrior as in fight your mom. I mean, shit, it looks as though your ancestors are already fighting that battle for you. But spiritually, but it's like in the physical Somebody has to set boundaries with their mother because there we go. Somebody's mother, somebody's mother has been sending out death spells towards their divine counterpart. They've been trying to kill. They've been obsessed with this person's divine counterpart and trying to kill this person. This queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of cups person could have been working with someone here, could have been working with like an auntie or somebody here to try and keep you in a space of indecision because they knew that this was your divine counterpart. Oh my God. What the fuck? She was doing death spells on this person. Oh my God. Wow. And if she was doing death spells on an uh, empress as she showed up, the, de the death spells have backfired. If this mother is sick, that's why. Because she was doing death spells on an empress. She was doing death spells over this man's divine counterpart and this woman's children. Sitting in conflict towards this woman's children. Could have been doing womb magic on this woman as well. She was sending chaos to this woman's children.
doing spells over her work. Let's see if I get a sign here, a Gemini. Could have been doing over her, over her business angry because she's somebody who people look up to could have been a Taurus could have been a Virgo yo that's fucked up so your ancestors want you to know that as well you have a karmic mother your grandmother is showing up to tell you that this is that this person, this mother has been doing death spells on your on your divine counterpart to keep them away from you so that they can um, continue to have you under their control. That was your that was this is energy now. That was her life purpose. Her life purpose was to keep you from finding your life purpose. This is all energy. We're all spirit first before we are flesh. If you're a divine being, that's a part of it. You signed up for that. You signed up to have to battle that to live up this emperor. She sent death spells over this empress to keep them from reconciling. She figured if the empress was dead, then there would be no one who would come in between her and her son or whatever the fuck. I don't fucking know. Performer. Yeah, she put on a she puts on a show to create all these illusions here. Throws a bunch of promiscuous people in front of this person's face. Sets them up as love offerings. These people are knight of knight of cups to an emperor. Knight of cups to an emperor can't do shit. They're not. They're nowhere near on this emperor's level. These are people from this person's past. People who they've known for a long time. Could have been knight of pentacles. People who are very immature. Who drank a lot. Just keeping this person literally young as hell. Putting stuff in that person's drink here. Look at those sprinkles on top of that cup. Putting stuff in this person's drink to keep them under illusions. It's an, it's an all in act here. For this king of wands here. I don't fucking know. That shit. Well, I do know, but... I wish I didn't. <laughs> like, at this point, that's fucked up. So, let's see. The... Yeah. Someone needs to follow their heart. Somebody keeps getting trapped because they don't want to believe the truth and, and what's really going on. Also, somebody's intuition is about to expose these betrayals to you in a way that's undeniable. You're not going to be able to deny it any longer because your ancestors are tired of you sitting here and your intuition, I'm telling you, they sit, they tired of you. They tired of you playing yourself. And I feel like you about to get into this King of Swords in reverse energy and start cussing motherfuckers the fuck out because when you realize just how many people were involved in doing this. And just how many people knew about what this person was doing as well. Everybody going through judgment. Everybody's going through judgment right now. If there's people around you who are sick, people around you losing their jobs, losing their houses, this is why. Because behind the scenes, your ancestors have been working overtime to bring justice on your behalf for the things that they've been doing to you behind the scenes. They've been purposely fucking your life up with spell work. Planting seeds of illusions just to keep you running around in circles. And this is all spiritually now. But if you're coming out as the emperor, 
and she's coming out as a as a as an empress that means you both have aligned your frequency into a space of divinity so that means that at some point right now actually with that judgment card people are getting justice you're getting your justice people are getting sick people may even pass away for the things that they've done to you behind the scenes they've done a lot to you if you're the emperor if you're the empress it doesn't matter because you two have to share in the same soul y'all one of the same they've done some real fucked up shit to the both of you all out of greed envy hatred you putting death spells on the motherfucker kids because you know that they're destined to be with your son are you serious Well, Empress, you know who ain't watching your kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's see. Anything else? I, you know, I want to get a timeline. I want to know. Okay, I'll pull a few cards from here, and then I want to get a timeline as to when this, when this information is going to have or be exposed. Justice in love. The justice here will be that you'll be able to get who it is that you want. Who it is who you always think about, who you're in love with. You'll get that person. Whenever, I don't know. Healing, though, is definitely required. Because when when you find out, Emperor, what the fuck really be going on? <laughs> you gonna, like like Carl said, King of Swords in reverse. You ain't about to hear nothing. By purpose, love love life purpose and justice that's what that's that's what's coming in here that's what your ancestors 